coming up here in just a bit. All right, sounds good, Mike. Thank you. Mayor Hillary Sheevy says it's been a long time coming. The demolition of the carriage in and it marks the beginning of a lengthy revitalization project planned for downtown Reno. Elizabeth Alveda joins us now live at the site of that former motel. Liz, it looks like they're still working on it behind you. Yeah, Kristen, actually crews still have a little bit to go before this motel is completely demolished, but once they do, it'll only take about four hours for them to knock the whole thing down. It's the first step to removing what the mayor refers to as blight, and it's a sign of several improvements to come. The damage was so severe, and we have people living in this motel, and the conditions were absolutely deplorable. The motel often served as a temporary shelter with a high turnover rate, but there were a couple of senior residents living there that developers helped to rehome before the demolition. Now, the developers, Jacobs Entertainment, recently purchased several properties along this street in an effort to bring a new arts and entertainment district to this area. The project could cost up to $500 million to complete, but that money will come from private funds. They hope to have it finished within the next five years. So what's next for the almost vacant lot? We're going to do it in different phases, and next spring we're going to announce phase one, which will be uh, commercial development on this side of the street. Now they do know what they plan that commercial building to be, but said they can't quite talk about it yet. For residents concerned about the loss of affordable housing, on the other hand, Jacobs Entertainment says they're partnering with the Reno Housing Authority to provide $1.5 million in affordable housing around the city. Covering the Big Story Live, Elizabeth Olveda, Channel 2 News. All right, Liz, thank you. And as more properties like the Carriage Inn come down in favor of new projects and a cleaner downtown core, it unfortunately displaces some of the lowest income residents and our housing market is already under strain. Ariana Bennett joins us now here in the studio with a look.